We're sequenced by the beautiful, uh, the iconic governor's restaurant at the Mount Vinny Hotel. And this restaurant comes alive at breakfast and lunch and dinner. Nights here are beautiful, dinners here are magical by candlelight. And I'm here to meet my guest, uh, Sachini Ayandra. We're going to have uh, coffee by candlelight at dusk when the sun goes down. Sachini, all the questions are here. You are ready? I'm ready. Right. Now, in this sequence, we talk all about you, the Miss Sri Lanka and the actress. So, Miss Sri Lanka for Miss World 2003, yeah. what was that like? Uh, I would say it was an amazing experience because um, I was very young back then. I was like maybe, I don't know the age. So, how old are you now, Sachin? <laughs> I'm in my 30s. You don't ask a 30s. girl the age. You never ask a girl her age. But there's and, a thing called the Google. <laughs> There's a thing called Wikipedia. <laughs> and you know how you say the age now? You don't say the number. You okay. say like 20s, 30s or 40s. Wow. Yeah. So that's how. So, so I would you could say. be 39. <laughs> you don't know. You never know. <laughs> right. Yeah. So basically, uh, that was an amazing experience. I was there for one month in China. And uh, it was a place where you see the most beautiful girls in the world in one place. Did you deserve to win that crown that year? Do you think you were beautiful? I'm not insulting you. <laughs> I think now looking back, at that time I was confused. I was what? like, yeah. Why? I was like, are you sure? Are you sure that I win this title? Okay. Something like okay. that. I was, I was not sure. Okay. Because uh, I was young and I was not confident or I didn't know what was coming. It, it happened too fast. Uh, but now looking back, I think I, I totally deserved it. I think I could represent my country and uh, I, I did a great job, I spoke well. So now to my younger self, I would say like you didn't have to freak out so much, uh -huh. but <laughs> you know, you did well, that's what I have to say. See, just because one is a Miss Sri Lanka, uh -huh. does one automatic become, automatically become a good actress? No. So what did you have that made you an award winning actress? Your first film, Adharani yeah. Vassania? 2004 got you yeah. Miss Supporting Actress Award as yeah, well. Yeah. What happened was Kuma, like um, acting came so naturally to me. Like I <laughs> knew... <laughs> That's the question everybody asked me. Even my husband asked me when he first met me. Oh, Do you God. act in real life? Oof. But no, I don't. Uh, because if, you're, if you are so genuine is when you can be a good actor. You know? If you are acting all the time, how can you act another character? So you have to be genuine to yourself. That's the secret of a good actor. Okay. You see, you have to be yourself. You okay. have to be your true self all the time. So are That's you your true self away from the cameras? Yes. Well, this is something else. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm my. How do you switch self. on and switch off? That's the talent. You, the actress. Yeah. So that is the talent. You have to be able to switch. How do you switch? How does such it, an it, it, switch? to the other character. Oh. It just happens automatically. That's that's how you know that you can act. You know, that's why you say you have a talent. So I didn't know that about me, but I, I knew I could act. It was so easy for me to act. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know I had it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I was involved in school stuff, so. Choir, it, drama, it, debating. Yeah, so school, it was so. so natural, but I didn't really think about it. But what I wanted to become was a model, not an actress, to That's be honest. That's where Lo Ching Wong, Ching Wong Lo, the old Chinese man, yeah. comes with a picture. What was it like? Yeah. He's a tough guy to work with. Oh my God. I think Being that. good heart, but. Yeah, <laughs> very tough, very yes. tough. Uh, so basically, I was back in Kandy at that time. I was studying, and then uh, my friend uh, Suraj Mapa, he's also an actor. He also called Kandy me. Boy, huh? Yeah, yes. yeah. He called me up and said, "You know, we are going to have this workshop. We are going to have this little um, crash course for modeling. Uh, why don't you come?" Because you were in school. I was in okay. school, but I was involved in modeling even at that time back in school. Uh, so then I said, "Of course." So I didn't know who Lo Ching Wang was. So he then. Must make me very happy about it. <laughs> And I went and we started the classes and he was so tough. But I would say I learned everything from him. Because he, because he was so, so tough, we were like so scared and we did everything right. How and much of Sachini Ayandra today do you owe Lo Ching Wong? 
uh, the confidence, I would, I would the all that? say uh, about 20 percent because for modeling, yes, you know, he model, helped me model, with yeah. modeling about how you maintain yourself and how you present yourself. I think I would say 20 percent of because I, I have come a long way, mm. you know, I have learned so many things over this period of time. How much more do you have to learn? Some more? I have so much more to learn. Back to TV, Hiruni 2005, yeah. Yeah. a very memorable role. Yeah. Uh, which do you prefer, small screen or large screen? Large screen, always. One. Because for me, uh, cinema is a greater thing. I think it was, it's a greater art. Uh, if you are part of a cinematic uh, product, uh, you belong to history. You become part of history. So I always love cinema. So I would always prefer cinema, but of course we can't ignore the television industry uh, to, to work always. As an artist, I would say you have to work in everything. So in Sri Lanka, the industry is so small, so you can't like pick and choose and say, oh my God, I'm going to only be a cinema artist because as an actor, you have to always act to keep up with your skill, you know. Uh, so I act in both, but I act the more cinema. in uh, cinema. You yeah. were also on stage in the Dharma Sinners for the better of a worse in 2009. Yes, yes. That's a different thing altogether. Yeah, yeah. So that was my one and only uh, stage drama. Why <laughs> because I didn't have time to okay. act in anything else because I was so busy with either movie, mostly movies. Okay. So but that was great patience. No? Yeah, Indivers. yeah. Infinite patience. Yeah, he's very creative, he's very talented, he he writes, he directs. So and stage, little screen, small screen, still you prefer the oh, large screen? Always, always, yeah. Right. You're also a good uh, actor and you took part in the World Championships uh, Performing Arts in yeah. LA in 2016 and 2017 and you won all those bronzes and silvers. Yeah. Uh, what did that mean to you? That was recognition. That was, um, I felt like I won an, ago. yeah, <laughs> for me, okay, World Championships of Performing Arts is like Olympics in Performing Arts. Mm. So there's about 65 countries taking part, about 1,500 contestants. So I somehow managed to get in to compete and um, I didn't have anyone to help me. And I didn't have an acting coach, I didn't have anyone to like really train me for it. But then I trained myself because it's acting, you know, I have Are been acting. Are you a self-made person? Mm, I much think. Much of you, about yeah. the filming now, is yeah. a self-made person. I think so. Because, um, I mean, of course, I've been to places, learned things, but I think my, my motivation or my, me being ambitious is what uh, made me what I am today. You know, that's my drive, like me being so ambitious. You are ambitious. Yes. You're pushing even more. Yes, of course. Till I die. <laughs> yeah. So, Satine, you as an actress, would you want your two daughters to be actresses one day? If they want to act, I would give my fullest support. Always. Because uh, I don't know what they would want to do. They're only seven and five. Yeah, small. but if they, if they want to start in this career, uh, I have so much advice to give because when I started off, there was no one to tell me like what to do, how to do, but I know so much about what I'm doing and uh, I would really help them. Yeah. So your journey as an actress, what lies ahead? More acting, more movies, because as an actress, I would say it's not only Sri Lanka, there's a whole world. Mm. You know, there's so many movies, so many languages. So your eye so many, out yeah. as well. Yeah, of course, always. Uh, so there's so much of opportunity. So I'm here in this little island and I have achieved something here. But, but that's why I say until I die, because there's so much to do, you know, in life. So of course, in my future, I want to act more, different films, better films, better roles, because the more you act, uh, the better you, you get. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. This you part too. of your life. So good luck and all the best to you in your journey as, as an actor, as an actress. Sequence Y, anything but with Kumari Silva and Sachin Ayandra, the girl from Bandarabala. Um, <laughs> the beautiful iconic Montevideo Hotel. We'll be catching you soon next. The next sequence all about Sachini being a mother and being a woman and how difficult it is at times to be a woman in a man's world. Sure, sure.